Hey everyone, how's it going? Boris back with you with another video of The Culling. Today I want to go over the new patch that just went live on July 27th for the Xbox One. Now this patch has already been live for the PC for about a week, and it has finally come to Xbox One, so let's take a look at everything that's in store. First we're going to go over uh, the new perks that have been added. There's been four new perks added, one for each class. So under the utility class we have tight grip which range weapons can't be disarmed movement speed reduced by five percent this will be super helpful for the smg and bows if you use that under the survival class we have tanky melee damage received reduced by ten percent range damage received increased by ten percent the combat class has berserker which damage dealt increased by ten percent across the board but there's no healing applied from kills so that's for somebody that's super aggressive and under the, under the movement class, we have Jogger, which movement speed, while fists are equipped, increased by 10%. But damage received, increased by 10% across the board. Um, so I know I, I went over those in a previous video, so you want to check out my earlier patch videos. I uh, go into more detail. But really quickly, I just wanted to show you everything we have gotten that is new. So first, we're going to look at the turtlenecks. Now, I'll go through the female and the male version of these. But you can see the turtlenecks, we got all the different colors, some stripes, and some argyle prints. And then we go up to the track tops, and you can see the different designs here. These were meant to be more summer apparel, so give you kind of a fresh look while you're running around the island or running through the prison. But either way, just some cosmetic stuff for you to try and get in the coal crates or to buy with your credits. I will have 10 coal crates at the end that I've saved up that I can open. And we'll see exactly what we get. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. But in the meantime, we'll just go through these. Another thing I want to point out. I'm going to put a comment on this video. And it's going to kind of point out the different times that these um, things are happening. So if you aren't really interested in the cosmetics, you want to get into different parts of the patch update, you can look at that comment and see what times to skip to. Uh, we're going to go over the events that they added. I, I was able to record footage, footage of both of the events. We'll go over the stamina change, as well as these cosmetic items. And, uh, like I just had the new perks up. If you want to pause the video and take a deeper look. I did go over them quite a bit in a previous video, so you might want to check out my previous videos if you want to find more detail on that. Um, either way, I didn't find any of those really groundbreaking or anything, so... I didn't decide to run them in my first few matches after the patch. I might give them a try, we'll see. So we'll take a look here. We did get some pretty cool celebrations uh, to unlock or buy towards the end game. Now some of these are pretty ridiculous. This one right here, um, two stroke, is definitely not safe for work and it's kind of funny. So we'll see if we unlock any of these. Otherwise I might have to spend some money on them. I definitely um, like to save up my credits as much as possible. And then if I feel like I should buy something, I'll definitely give it a give it a shot. And let me know in the comments if you think that there's one that really stands out. I can't really decide on one, but I definitely want to buy one of the celebrations and one of the taunts. And I definitely like this uh, the look of this six-shooter. That's a pretty cool taunt. I might have to buy that one later. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Like I said, we will go over the stamina, um, as well as the new events that are coming out. And then we also have these weapon skins. So the before the hammer, 
the pitchfork and the hatchet didn't have weapon skins, so we'll quickly go through these all here. Um, there's 11 new weapon skins for each weapon. And we'll see if we can unlock any of them in our 10 coal crates. So I saved them up for 10 levels. It was hard not to open them at the time, but I figured it'd make for a decent video if I was able to open 10 of them, see if we get any of the new loot items. Um, if not, no big deal, but hopefully we get some credits along the way so we can maybe buy a few things at the end. There's the pitchfork. All right. And so now we'll talk about the leaderboard. So this is another brand new thing with this patch. And you're going to see the top 10 players from each um, rank. So there's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Diamond being the highest. And really what it boils down to is you have to hit a certain score before you uh, end up in a certain class. So everyone's in bronze straight away. But as soon as you start accumulating some matches, once you get to 10 matches, you'll see where your rank actually is. Even once you get past those 10 matches, uh, you can improve the matches that you played before. So you might have 10 and uh, you might have had 6 good ones and 4 bad ones. Well, you can always make up those 4 bad ones with uh, some good efforts going down the line until the season ends. And you can see I haven't played yet when I was recording this, so I had 10 empty slots. Once those are all filled up, we'll see where we are. I assume I'm going to be in the diamond category once I get those all filled up um, as I'm currently went in about 50% of my matches, so that would definitely put me in the diamond rank, but it's not going to put me in the top 10. That's going to take quite a bit of uh, work and quite a bit of get really good matches. So it's looking like to get in the top 10 of diamond, we're going to have to get a win and at least 7 or 8 kills per match in order to get in the diamond top 10, which is that that would be the top 10 in the entire world playing the game on Xbox. So that'd be pretty impressive if, if someone is up there. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into the stamina upgrade. So as you know, in the June patch, they completely uh, overhauled the stamina and basically made it so that unless you were jumping, you basically never ran out of stamina. You could run straight for minutes and minutes at a time, and you would never run out. And therefore, you'd be pretty hard to catch up to unless for some reason. Um, you had explosive runs, you could catch up to a player that's running away from you, or if you just kind of outmaneuver them, if they're running zigzag and you run straight, you could eventually catch up. But other than that, you would never catch up to the player, and they could just run. And basically, they're going to run you into another player, and you'll probably end up getting killed. So I have a side-by-side -side comparison, old patch on top and new patch on the bottom here. And you can see straight away, uh, the old the old patch still has... 89 stamina left, whereas the new patch is um, a little bit less than halfway already at 41. And you'll see, um, once we get closer to a minute and a half, you'll see the, how big the difference actually is. It looks like the new stamina is about one second. One second of running takes away one, one stamina point. So you start with 100 stamina, so at 140 seconds we're looking at uh, zero stamina. And that's, that's what I think we get to here. I'm going to have the numbers officially at the end. But you can just see how ridiculous the old patch of stamina actually was. When we get to 140, um, the new patch is going to be completely out of stamina, and the old patch, let's see, has 79. And so to make this video a little bit less painful to watch, we're going to speed this up a super fast speed on top, but you can see at the bottom, 1 minute and 40 seconds to completely deplete your stamina on this new patch. Where in the old patch we are still going, we still have 50 stamina at this point at the four minute mark. Um, and a little bit past four minutes, but still you get the point. And I actually did this in a match. I just tried to get to a part of the map of the island where no one would see me. And I just ran and ran and ran. <laughs> and I ran for a very long time. And I myself didn't even expect it to be this long. I was really shocked that this is actually how long you had to run in order to completely run out of stamina. And I don't know how this got past <laughs> testing or anything like that or who thought it was a good idea, but you're seeing here we still have one stamina and finally run out of stamina at 8 minutes and 15 seconds. So that is quite a difference if you think about it. Um, when someone's running away, now you only have to ch chase them for a max of 1 minute and 40 seconds if they have full stamina, which they probably won't. 
Um, so that's much better than trying to chase somebody around for minutes at a time. Um, but now let's look at the jumping in stamina. So this is also taking a, a little bit of a hit, but jumping before, I mean, still drained you right away. And that's something that I definitely recommend that you don't do. Jumping for no reason just completely eats away your stamina. You can see in the new patch, it's 12 seconds. The old patch, it was 15 seconds. So that's not that much of a difference. Jumping is definitely not recommended unless you have to. Don't jump. Um, and then now, let's get right into the new events. So the first thing we're going to look at is Blood Moon. Now this is an event where they'll announce it and then you have 30 seconds. And then all of a sudden the sky will turn red and then there'll be kind of a haze over the sky and every player's location, every alive player's location will be known on the map. You'll see uh, when we look up here after the sky turns red, you'll see all these players highlighted in red. Now you can see exactly how far away people are, how close they are, if they're running your direction, if they're fighting, you can kind of get an idea if you're safe or if there's someone coming your way. So I notice right away that there's no one really around me, so I take my time. If there was somebody close, I could go try and kill them. Um, or if they were coming at me, I could really prepare myself to fight. Didn't really happen at this point. I noticed that there were two people in that building uh, across the across the water. And then one of them died, so now there's just one guy standing in there. So my plan was to just kind of take a look in the building and then head over there and see if we can... See if we can take that guy down because um, there's really no point in standing around, especially with the the ranking. You want to try and get as many kills as possible to get as many points. Um, but I noticed this guy start running at me, and I can see him straight through this wall. So I just got a charge bow ready. Unfortunately, I do miss, but that would have been nice if I was able to connect. He shouldn't have just run straight at me because he if he can see me, I can see him. That's for sure. Um, and I'm not sure why he just went afk right here but i just decided to hit him with a few shots and he's actually got a tier three spear and i have a tier one hatchet so right away i'm at a pretty big disadvantage but uh we end up working this guy and taking him down with some crafty combat switching up our strategy we push we block and then we push and and he kind of fell for it so we took advantage of blood moon we actually got a kill in it and then we decide to uh We'll decide to chuck some of our weapons over there and, and take his spear for selling. Um, but that's that's Blood Moon. Basically, you can see everyone around you. You can see if you're in trouble. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's one of the one of the better events that that we have. Some of them, some of the events you'll find like the Chokening, That doesn't really matter. Uh, but this one definitely is a plus. Now here's one. And the other new one, which is called Boombox, and what happens is there's explosive barrels that are pretty much scattered throughout the whole entire map. Anyone can go over with a stick to the barrel. If you have 30 funk, you can create a crafted explosive. And if you head to the center of the map, there's a red explosive crate. Now that crate can have a tier 3 item or it can have a tier 4 item. So it can have a really good weapon, um, a gun... Um, a tier 3 weapon, which are still really good. Now, I did something really stupid here. I threw the dynamite at the player, which opened the box, and he <laughs> he ran and got the loot from the box. Luckily, it was a gun, and I was able to disarm him. Obviously, he didn't have tight grip on, otherwise he would have still had that gun in his hand. But this guy, I don't even know. It didn't even look like he had a weapon or anything like that, so he might be pretty new. But we did, we took him down, grabbed the gun, and ran off with the ran off with the boombox loot. So there's the two events. All right. So now let's get into the the ten call crates. Let's see what we get here. So we, like I said, we have ten total. I saved up for ten levels and didn't open them. So here's the first one. Let's see what we get. All right. So it looks like we got something we already had: a pink katana skin, some purple hair, and a man tracker skin. Now. I haven't received a katana skin yet, so that's something that's nice, but the pink one, I don't know about that, but I'll I'll put it on just because I don't have one yet, but... Alright, let's open the second one, and looks like we got another duplicate, blonde hair, gray hair, and a culling card. So nothing new yet. Alright, here is the third one. Open that up. Okay, recurve bow skin. That's pretty nice. Um, a couple 
pullovers and a shirt. So that's pretty good. I always like to get some of those. I'd like to get, you know, one of the new items. Let's see if I can actually get it. Here's my fourth one. Hoping that the new items are actually in the loot pool. I've seen other games that have released updates and the, I, the new items aren't in the loot pool and everybody opens their crates and nothing comes out. Alright, so we got nothing, nothing new there. I mean, some new stuff, but nothing from the new patch. Is this our fifth or sixth one? Let's see. Alright. Some credits. Nice little purple hat. <laughs> and there's so many cosmetic items that I'll never ever wear, but you unlock them and, uh, you know, you always have that option. If for some reason you want to dress up like something strange, um, or just go with a different look from here and there, but at least you, at least you have those options. I'd rather have some cosmetic items than none. I'm just glad this game doesn't have microtransactions yet anyway. I hope that never happens and it never gets added. But I guess we'll see if they ever go down that path. Um, I could see it happening, unfortunately, with the gaming today. But let's just hope that they never add microtransactions to this game to actually buy the credits to, to buy some things. Alright. Ooh, that's a really nice uh, Magnum skin. I'll definitely be putting that on. Um... Yeah, that looks really good. So next time I get a Magnum and I actually pick it up, that'll look really nice. Okay. Oh, we got a, another uh, legendary type skin for the bat. Looks like a looks like it turns it into a wood bat. That'd be cool if it actually changes the sound it makes when it hits somebody, but I doubt that. Um, let's see. All right, well, there's one of the new items, a pitchfork skin. Really exciting because I never, ever <laughs> use a pitchfork, but... At least we know that those items are in the loot pool. Um, yeah, so let's see. Two more here. All right, another pretty good skin for the auto bow. I don't really like the auto bow, but we got 200 credits as well. So we're doing pretty good. We're getting some credits, getting some decent looking skins. At least there's something and not just a bunch of random t-shirts. And let's see, last one. More credits, so... We're up over 2,500. We should be able to buy something. Yep, so let's go and uh, let's go buy one of these taunts. So like I said before, I definitely like Six Shooter. I, don't, I think this is new. They didn't announce taunts as being new, but I'm pretty sure that some of these are new. I don't remember seeing Six Shooter before. Otherwise, I probably would have bought it because it's pretty cool. But yeah, we went ahead and bought that and attached it on. I put my goggles on. I bought those a long time ago for a thousand credits. So I definitely want to wear those and and uh, not waste my money, but I, I like the way those look. And if you look close enough, uh, you can actually see that the cigarette actually lights on that as well. So that's a pretty neat, pretty neat feature. But let me know, yeah, here are the new celebrations again. Let me know what you guys think about the celebrations. And uh, if there's one in particular that you guys like the most. I think Two Stroke is the funniest. I just don't know, <laughs> I don't know how that looks for a male character, and you unlock it for both of them when you buy these. It might be pretty funny for the female one. So that's everything in the patch. I know I went over it pretty quickly, but if you guys do have any uh, thoughts or comments or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, definitely give it a like, and subscribe for more content of The Culling. I'll be doing more of these and more tips and tricks in the future. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, but until next time, I'll see you later.